Hi there and welcome to this tutorial on adding in color swatches here into Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. I'm your instructor, Jessica Sprague. I'm excited about this possibility of adding in color swatches here because but it's a great way to be able to download specific color sets from places like my blog where I've just started adding in or offering colors. So the way that we download and install one of these color swatch files is by coming into our Photoshop Elements interface or full version of Photoshop. Doesn't matter because these are exactly the same in the way that this functions. Basically all we're going to do is come up to Window and then you're going to look for color swatches. Under the color swatches dialog box, you'll see a bunch of, wait for it, color swatches. And all we need to do here is just dock this in. So for my particular purpose, I think I'm going to put mine right down here at the bottom underneath my layers palette. That way I can just double click it to collapse that whenever I'm working on my project. And then I can pop this back up to be able to select colors from. So let's get a color set in there and then I will show you how to use these. So we can click on this little button right over here. A lot of these little buttons are hidden in Photoshop and Photoshop Elements, which is not my favorite thing, but it's one of those things you just kind of have to get used to. We just pop this out and we're going to choose load swatches from that flyout menu. So here, all we need to do is navigate to the place where we've downloaded our swatch files, and they're going to be called ACO. You can see that right here, ACO. So we can just click on the swatch file that we want and click open. That's going to get added here in Photoshop Elements to the very bottom of our palette. And we can see right here that it's very easy then with our little eyedropper that you can see as you go over the top of this. Let me pull this out just a little. There we go. You can see that it's very easy then to be able to just select right over those. And you can see when I click down on one of them, that becomes my foreground color. So I can use this in any way that I would have otherwise selected in my foreground and then either sampled out of my image itself. You can see I would only get white in this case or in any way that I would have come and kind of dialed up a color here. So this is a great way to be able to get perfect and pre-made color schemes here into Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you soon.